Hi, this is Dr. Vivek and today we have Mr. Raj Kumar and as we already know that he is a diabetic type 2 patient who doesn't take medicine but his big contribution is going to be today as we are going to check his blood sugar levels with the help of a glucometer and at that particular time we'll also do a lab test. A person will be attending who is going to take the blood and in the evening when we will get the results of his blood test we will compare the readings between the glucometer and the lab test. So it will be clear how much is the difference when we do the blood test through a glucometer at home and its comparison with the lab test result. We are going to do this test empty stomach in the morning after fasting of 12 hours and we are going to repeat this test after food means in the morning he is empty stomach we will do the lab test right now and then he is going to eat his meal and after two hours we are going to repeat the test in the same manner with the glucometer and with the lab test so that up to the evening we will have clear comparison about the difference between the glucometer test and the lab test. If you are watching this video, you should be thankful to Mr. Rajkumar that he's contributing so much to educate all of us. So let's start the test. First is going to be empty stomach. That's called fasting blood sugar. And that is after 12 hours of fasting. Two hundred and thirteen, two hundred and fifteen. It's almost the same. There is no big difference. Now he's gonna eat whole meal, heavy meal, and after two hours, we are going to do the test again. So now it has been two hours when Mr. Rajkumar has eaten his meal and this blood test is known as postperandial that's PP blood sugar. One is fasting blood sugar and another is called PP when the blood test is done two hours after meal. So right now the technician is going to visit and is going to take his sample at the same time we are going to check by our glucometer. <laughs> Glucometer reading after two hours of food. Three T three. It's from the vein and we'll check from the capillaries also. From the capillaries also, it's three eighty three. And when we took the blood from the vein, it was also the same three eighty three. So there is no difference right now in the glucometer reading if we take the blood from the veins or from the capillaries. I have got the results. The results are with me. So now let's see the difference. Glucose fasting, empty stomach. Lab test has shown 232.8. When we did with the meter, it showed 215. So there is a difference of 17 points. You can say that there is a difference of approximately 10% between the lab test and the test that we have done at home with the help of glucometer. Now let's look on the blood sugar levels after eating means the person has eaten and the blood sugar has been tested two hours after the meal. So over here the result is 443.2 and when we did with the glucometer it showed 383. So the difference in the result is of 60 digits means about 15%. So the difference between the glucometer reading and lab test is of 10 to 15%.
this is what we can say even i asked to the guy who came for the lab test what is his experience and he also said that there will be the difference of 10 to 15 percent so here are the results it's not a big difference of 10 to 15 percent but if your sugar level is on the upper border then it can give big difference anyways if your sugar is on upper border you have to work on it you have to decrease it i continuously post on my youtube channel many of the videos where i share information about diabetes and herbs that can help in it and many other good information so stay in touch i hope you liked the video i hope you got some good information through it see you in next video with a big smile up to the time smile more stay happy stay healthy